All right. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, this is what we woke up to this morning. Come outside in the skies. Look at the pretty clouds. Ooh, clouds. Nice. It looks like they're trying to make a tag on pentagram in the sky. Pentagram in the sky. We need some Superman themed music. Nice. <laughs> much covering the whole sky. Wow. It's freezing out too. Man. Good morning folks. We are so getting nailed this morning. They are drawing lines everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> yeah and nobody notices. This is normal, right? This is a normal morning, our skies. Look at that, they're drawing the lines right there. There we go. Looks nice, don't it? You don't know what that is? No. Uh, do these lines look normal to you? No. Not okay. Really. You've never noticed them before? Yeah, I have. Okay. Do you know what solar engineering is? Yes. Okay. They they put aluminum particulates and other chemicals in the sky to block out the sun. Does that sound like a good plan? Okay, so they've been doing this for over 20 years, but nobody notices. I've, I've been talking about this for at least eight. And so I figure if I stand out here, maybe other people will look up. This is every day. Very seldom, ve very seldom do you see a blue sky in our skies anymore. Do you see this? Okay. And people think this is normal. <laughs> do you yeah, do? I remember seeing it a lot, yeah. but then it, it'll be various times that they do it. Do you remember when we were kids, they would teach you there was like four or five classes of clouds? Yes. Now they tell our children that there's 13 or something like that. And they tell our children that these are clouds. Okay, do you see the airplane dumping it out? Okay. It's radioactive isotopes and aluminum. Now, I worked at NASA and I have a friend who's on a committee that made the decision to do this. So they, she told me eight years ago they were doing this. You think? Yeah. It might be. Considering I'm fighting cancer. How about not just cancer, how about you can't breathe? Well, I'm fighting lung cancer, I've only got one lung. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. We'll be praying for you, that's for sure. That's for sure. Wow, they're going to continue to do it, aren't they? Yes. Well, I think back. that if enough of us would realize and tell our legislators, they could outlaw it. Look, there they go drawing more lines. See that one over there? Yeah. See, people think, you understand, contrails disappear behind the plane. Yes. These, they turn into a white, milky covering, the whole sky. Okay? Wow. Sun. Yep. Hmm. And this is why our, our, our trees are dying. This is happening all over the world, not just here. Yeah. It's not just happening in Chester, you know, they just don't like us here in Chester. No, this is happening all over the world. <laughs> yeah. The lady in the mall they just was don't telling like me us. about that, how they were putting chemicals in the sky, but she didn't does this look, explain it the Does way this you look did. good? I'll give you one of my newspapers. I wrote about it. I wrote a col you know, I write the newspaper columns, right? Okay, I'm going to give you a copy of the column. It's called, the column I write in the newspaper is called Jesus Freak Computer Geek. 
but I wrote one called look up in the sky you know the old adage Superman it's a bird it's a plane yeah uh, and it, it, it's called look never. look it up solar geoengineering just Google it Okay, Harvard University announced last year that they were going to do it, but one. when they announced it, they had already been doing it for over 20 years. But most people just didn't pay any attention because we're doing this every day. We're looking at our phones every day. We're not looking up at the sky. Who, who lays back and watches the clouds meander by anymore, I do right? Sometimes I do. Oh, uh, we do because we grew up, but our children yeah. don't. Unbelievable. Our children we don't go. All the way around us. All the way, except over there. There's not as much. Over yeah, there. but listen, see but all that stuff there. over there? Yeah. They did that last night. Those are not clouds. Okay, all this yeah. stuff you see here will be a white film across yeah. the whole sky. The sky will be gray. Everybody, welcome to my world. Been here soon. Do you think that we're in the end times? Because I do. Sure. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure we're in the end times. Uh, yeah. Just yeah. make sure you're prayed up. <laughs> Most definitely. It's, it's gonna, she's going to blow. She's gonna blow. Yeah. Well, well. Look, uh, well, you're coming back this afternoon, right? To pick. Yeah. Okay. I'll try to have a copy of the column for you, so you can okay. check it out, because there's all kinds of links in it. And that is a, you, that you go is on the a, internet, right? Yeah. Yeah. I got. I remember, you were gonna fix my seven. Oh. Do you a, still want me to fix it? Yeah. I don't have the money right now, though. Okay. Because we got, all got laid off, and I had to take a job at working at a place where. Nobody hardly speaks my language, and <laughs> they pray to a different God than I do. And I'm yeah. not allowed to wear Jesus on my shirt, but they can pray, pray to. Yeah. Um, you know, are are, you, are you? Did you get a job at the new plant? Is that where you got? No. Oh, okay. I wish I got it. One at. We, there's hotel. still openings. You can still. Where at? Down there at GD. Oh, I, I put yeah. my um, application. Yeah, in. they're still hiring. And I'm working. I'm going back to school at the same time. So let me look. You can remember. Um, solar geoengineering yeah. right yeah okay there's another term for it but that it's like a, it's like a conspiracy kook term it's called chemtrails okay oh, that's what that lady yeah. called it chemtrails yeah. it's appropriate though because there's all kinds of chemicals in these particulates well it's, maybe okay. i need to chime in and write a little bit on it because everybody's going to be welcome to my world of trying to breathe <laughs> with lung difficulty and yeah be, you know, understand it's th yeah, this it's, isn't just here it's all over the world all over we wonder why this is why nobody can see uh, i'm at mcdonald's i like what can i say i like their sausage egg and cheese bagels and their coffee so i ordered an egg and cheese only bagel this morning and what did they give me cheese two freaking slices of cheese this is an example of why people can't freaking see what's in the sky their brains are turned off that should trouble us all a lot all right <laughs> so the trick to wake people up is instead of standing around or talking and complaining about it is go find a place where there's a bunch of chem being dumped out in the sky, oh, I'm sorry, where solar ge geoengineering or solar remediation is happening. And just stand out there looking up, pointing your phone, and people will get out of their cars and look. Wow. <laughs> they had never seen these things before. <laughs> Alrighty then. Or they had seen them. That's right. That's what the lady said. She'd seen it before, but they didn't know what it was. Fascinating. Anyway, God bless y'all.